Hello everyone, Executo here. Please enjoy this video, leave a like below, comment, subscribe, follow my Instagram and Facebook. Get aesthetic, brah. Hey guys, Executo here with another question video. Today's topic is isolation movements and why they actually are helpful for getting a good look in that physique you want. Now, if you guys know um, about training and working out, you would know that uh, compound movements build the most mass, compound movements help with testosterone, and comp compound movements are main exercises really for a lot of things that people are looking for. Squats, deadlifts, um, bench press, shoulder press, which is another example of military press, um, are ways to build testosterone, you know, naturally, um, build mass naturally, um, types of exercise that you can go really heavy in, but with isolation movements. Now, these are movements where you're not going to be going crazy heavy. You could go heavy for certain ones, but isolation movements is really isolating the muscle. So getting those little parts in the muscle. When you're doing a squat, you're not doing little parts of a muscle. What you're really doing is using all your legs, using compound movements, lots of muscles being used. So you can't really isolate a muscle. So let's talk about the shoulder, for instance. When you're doing shoulder press, military press, you're gonna be pushing that weight up and coming down. And what that's gonna do is use your core, use your shoulders, use your traps, and use all those muscles. But if you really wanna define those uh, front delts, side delts, rear delts, you're gonna have to do different movements like isolation movements. So for instance, I'm gonna be going up like this. This is gonna isolate the front delt. When I'm going down, it might be using the rear delt a little bit, but mostly the front delt. Um, side delt, you know, go this side, isolating the side delt. Um, of course, you're not gonna be using your core if you're doing it right, because a lot of people do kind of swing that involves your core, and that doesn't really hit the muscle very much or isolate that mu muscle, really. Um, for your bicep, since there's two parts, you're gonna be doing different movements for different parts of the bicep. For instance, hammer curls for the outside. Actually, there's three parts. I've said this in my video, three parts of my opinion because the forearm connects close to the bicep. Um, hammer curls for the outside, straight, just regular curls. For the inside, you get that peak. Um, there's lots of movements you could do, really. Um, if you've been training for a while, guys, isolation movements, what it does, it really sh um, shows that muscle. So, for instance, you're doing isolation movements, and what it does is it shows the difference between, the, for instance, I'm sorry, I say for instance a lot, but the shoulder and the bicep. Um, the shoulder and the tricep, you can see the cuts in between to show um, the size, like it shows the roundness. That's what I was trying to get to. It shows the roundness of the muscle. Um, when you're doing squats and deadlifts, you just get size, so you get bulky. You, you, that's, those are movements you're probably going to be doing when you're bulking. Um, you could do those movements as well when you're cutting. Um, they're actually good movements for cutting down because it's compound movements and it allows you to burn the most calories. But we're talking about isolation movements. With isolation movements, you're not going to burn as many calories but you're gonna burn that muscle. So you're gonna get more striations in that muscle. Um, you can go heavy with isolation movements. Um, it's a little bit more dangerous, depending on the movement you're doing. Um, for biceps, triceps, obviously, you could probably go heavy. But certain movements like your uh, quads, you're probably not gonna go as heavy because it could affect your knees. Um, if you're doing it wrong, even then, going heavy with your quads, you don't necessarily need to because you can do squats, that's gonna build size. Then you could do uh, leg extensions, which is going to build striations and cuts. A lot of people say isolation movements do cut down on like being able to use all your muscles at once. So running quick or sprinting and stuff like that. And it does. It ultimately does if you only do that. Now for me personally, I do isolation movements. I do compound movements. I do sprints. I do everything. I incorporate everything into my lifestyle because that's how an athlete trains. That's how I personally train. I am a hockey player, so I'm an athlete. I'm going to train that way. Um, some people do only train mostly isolation movements if you are a bodybuilder. Um, they do slow reps. For me personally, I've been doing fast, quick reps to get that fast twitch muscles. But um, it all depends how you train. Depends what you want. Um, so isolation movements is good for the look. It will show your muscles. It will show exactly what you want. You want those big biceps. You want those striations in your biceps, chest, anything. Isolation movements are really good. You should incorporate them into your workout, whether you're a power lifter, a bodybuilder, physique builder, anything you are. Isolation movements do help in creating that look. Um, a lot of males are not really like, they don't really like their body. So if you're gonna do isolation movements, you get that look. 
then you can incorporate those compound movements all that stuff compound movements usually come first to get that size but it all depends what you guys like isolation movements like i said before is one of the best movements to do um there are negatives to it same thing with compound movements and negatives to compound movements like i said isolation movements are bad if you're only doing them because you'll get like a robot you just go exactly like that um but yeah incorporate sprints cardio um if you're cutting down right um if you're bulking up do lots of compound movements mainly compound movements you can still do isolation movements just to like burn out that muscle f finish off that muscle like if you're doing chest and triceps you would do bench then you would do um tricep extensions and you would also do well different exercises but then isolate that movement do some isolation movements um so isolate the muscle get those striations get those peaks in the biceps all that good stuff guys isolation movements is a good movement and you guys should incorporate them i recommend it i built my physique from isolation movements compound movement, all of them isolation movements is one of them though and that is very important when trying to build a nice physique so i hope you guys enjoyed that video please leave a like below come subscribe and get us there.